Hello BookTube and hello AuthorTube and whatever kind of tube we're dealing with here right now. <clears throat> this is really hard. Um, yeah, because <clears throat> the sun is pretty much in a place everywhere here right now that I can't see my screen. So I'm not even sure if this is recording. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Weird Mass 3K. Um, and apparently I wanted to do it right as the trash truck was coming. So, oh, but it's going that way. So I think we're okay for a minute. Um, basically, I wanted to do this because I feel like there's a lot of writers out there who, whether they're like part-time writers or they write as a hobby or whatever, they don't get the, the odd deadline that, um, is still rampant today, but like going back to like the pulps <clears throat> and, um, when they had to do stuff like that, for instance, like, and I've talked about this on this channel before, you would get a call on Friday and say, oh, by the way, um, I need a 10,000 word Western by Monday morning. And then that was the next two and a half days for you. You were writing a Western, even if you've never written a Western before, you had to figure out how to do it. And so as much as this is kind of an exercise, I wanted to kind of make it fun with everybody. And the trash truck is coming this way. So that that's, that's a plus. Um, maybe it's not that loud. Maybe it is. Um, so I want to be able to answer everybody's questions because... Um, there have been a couple questions that have sprouted up, um, that I didn't even think would be an issue or anything like that. So, um, for instance, this is open to everybody. Like, even if you've never written a story before. Um, okay. If you've never written a thing before in your life and you would like to try this, you're more than welcome to join and I would love to um, I would love to make sure that you're included in all the email loops and all that other stuff so if you do want to participate in this um, either email me at weirdmaskzine at gmail.com or leave a comment below with a way for me to get a hold of you and I'll put you in on that the second question that came up a bunch was, can you repurpose something you've already written? Now, technically, yes, you could. We don't want you to. That would be breaking the rules. But since I'm not going to be there with like a stick whacking you in the head if you're cheating, um, no one would know. So it's like very much an honor system thing. Um, so, for instance, uh, if you had a story about baseball, let's say, and the genres we pull up are science fiction and romance, okay? Um, <clears throat> I don't want you to take your baseball story and like change the location from Nebraska to the moon and then add a, a love triangle. That's not what this is about. And because that's been coming up a lot, I think a repurpose thing, we will do at a later date, but this is like a brand new thing. So you have three days 
to come up with something brand new off of the genre, the subgenre, the prompt, and the current event that I'm going to give you on April 26th during the live stream at 9 a.m. Now, Pacific time. If you can't watch the live stream, if I have your email address, I'm going to send all of that information out to everybody as soon as the live stream is over. So um, everyone will have it. Um, and that is kind of um, the idea. And if people want to chat through the weekend about how things are going and stuff like that, we could figure out a way to do that, whether it be um, just through emails or on Voxer or whatever, um, Discord, whatever you guys want to do, just let me know. Um, but it's, it is something for us to try to hone our craft. And for me, I've never written a steampunk thing. I've never written... Um, a space opera. I've never written um, a swashbuckling tale. So, like, all of these things, it would be good for all of us, you know? No matter if you're brand new at this or if you've been doing this for years, because guarantee there's a genre you have not written. And you might get one that you're really good at and so this won't be very hard for you at all but that's kind of the whole thing where um it's all luck of the draw and we see what we could come up with so um there's that and was there another question there was another question and i'm spacing on it um oh yeah, and, like, the winner, like, the only reason why there's a winner is because we're acting like this is, like, a race, like a 3K walk or a 3K run or whatever. Um, it's just a little play on words. So, yes, there is a winner. The first one to get it in, um, send it in, edited to the best of their ability, um... And I think I'm going to even do it like this. I am going to print it exactly as it's written. So, if you do not want to look like an idiot with a bad edit job, make sure you take the time to go over it um, before you send it in. Because that's kind of like the, like the hindrance there. Like, if I don't edit it or I don't have anyone else edit it and we just put it in the zine as is then that means hopefully you all will take a little bit more time because your name will be attached to it so um, just because you can write something in a couple hours or a day doesn't mean you should turn it in like that so make sure it's um, print ready as possible. And what we'll probably do is the order they come in from like second place on down, we will post those daily on weirdmask.com as the second place, the third place, fourth place, blah, blah, blah. Or... Like, we'll probably stop after third place. But we'll keep posting them every day until we've gone through them all. Um, and some of you might be thinking, like, oh, man, like, I really don't want to do something like this and have, like, a bunch of people writing, like, the same thing. I guarantee no one's story will be identical. Like, not even close. Um, Britt and I... And there were a couple people who were just on the live stream, like, watching, who decided to join in on it. <clears throat> we did a plot genie thing one time. And um, it was, like, very in-depth. Like, your character is a wrangler. That was, like, what we pulled. And, um, like, 
Brit wrote a story about a horse or was going to write a story about a horse. Um, I think. And then I wrote a story about a guy who, um, collects, he wrangles blood from dead junkies. So, um, yeah, like no two stories will be the same. You know what I'm saying? So, um, when you get the prompts and all that other stuff, think about it, have fun with it, make it your own. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be very like on the nose with what it is. Again, this is just so all of us can build our writing, hone our craft, um, and just have a good time doing it with a bunch of people doing the same thing. So everyone's kind of going through the same thing. So again, if you want to join, go to Weird Mask. Oh wait, no, you don't have to do that. I guess you could just email me at weirdmaskzine at gmail.com, um, or leave a comment below with a way to get a hold of you. Um, and I will put you in the email list and, um, we will go from there. And hopefully if this works out well, we will do this on a more regular basis. Um, so it's all good. Have fun. And let me know if you're going to join us. Bye-bye.